Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. I certainly appreciate you stopping by. Today's beer is a 2014 edition of Dogfish Heads Raisin D Extra. This is the monster beer. It's got the nuclear cap on it. This is an 18 percenter, guys. Wow, why do you need to produce a beer of that magnitude? That's like drinking liquor. This will put you in the hammer lane fast, and if that's what you want, my God, this will probably do it. Uh, Personally, I probably would not buy uh, this beer. Before I even get the cap on, I think I may have reviewed it years ago. Uh, I know it's going to be boozy, guys. And this is a $10 plus bottle of beer being an 18 percenter. Wow, 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 wow. I just don't, you know, I like a nice hearty beer. Uh, 7% to use the 10, 11, 12% unless you're getting into the bourbon barrel stuff. Uh, but an 18% uh, Belgian strong dark ale seems a little excessive to me but these guys want to do this just so they can uh, so uh, it is what it is so if I come back and I got a buzz you'll know why 18 percent are here guys drink this one at home this one will kick your butt if you're not drinking at home hopefully you got a designated driver or you may be looking at the long arm of the law before you get home and if you are you're in serious trouble my friend so drink responsibly on this one guys uh, and like i told you on yesterday it looks like beer advocate has stopped uh, giving the food pairings uh, on the beers now for some reason don't know why so i'm not going to be giving you the food pairings any longer uh, i'm not going to jump through hoops to try to find out what goes with the beer so with all the hundreds if not thousands of beer reviews that i've gave you that food pairing if you want to know what goes with a dark air, look up one of those. But anyway, this should make the beer reviews a little quicker. Uh, as far as commercial description, here on Untapped, it says, Our popular raisin d'etre with a little extra. This immodest brew made with an obscene amount of malt, brown sugar, and raisins takes Belgian-style browns to a new height. Yeah, takes you to the alcoholic level. And then it's just see more dogfish head, guys. I the their one twenty and this. Anytime you see a nuclear cap on this, this it's an excessive. It's an excessively priced beer. It's an excessively alcohol beer. Now that's why they put that bright nuclear cap on them, because this these are Hammer Lane beers, boys, and they're not cheap, and usually they're very boozy. So, I mean, uh, malt, li malt liquor on steroids, if you will. I usually find these beers unpleasant. Uh, just me, though, guys. There's probably a lot of people that absolutely love these beers. This will get your buzz on pretty damn quick. Uh, this says here, 18% and 40 IBUs on untapped. So, that's all we need to talk about. So, let's jump on the wagon here and open the top and get this thing into the glass. A little bit of a hiss. Didn't expect a whole lot. Don't expect a big head either on an 18 percenter. We're going to go right down the center on this bad boy. Well, I'm actually surprised at how much head it's pouring. We're going to continue to go down the center here, guys, and get it into the glass because I'm not reading any food pairings any longer. Looks like there's a lot of murky stuff coming out of the bottom of that bottle. 
And these breweries brew these beers just because they can on them, brew the biggest Belgian dark ale there is or whatever, or the biggest IPA or the biggest whatever style that they're going after when they brew these monster beers, guys. About a half a finger of head, it is a dark brown, maybe a little red mahogany notes. Uh, it is very cloudy. Just a slight hint of some light through the thin part of the glass here, none through the big bowl part. To the nose we go. A little bit of alcohol, definitely getting some raisins, brown malt, molasses. Doesn't smell as boozy as I was expecting it to, but it's fair, guys, and it's hard to hide 18%. Well, it is what it is. This comes from my brother Rico, and this is the 2014 edition. Let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers, Rico. Definitely getting the alcohol, guys. It's there. It's hard to hide it. I like drinking liquor here, guys. 18%. Roasted malt. Raisins, molasses, caramel, toffee, maybe even some dark fruit may come out as it warms up. And I'm definitely going to let this warm up the room temperature. Sip on it. This is a sipper. You better not chug this or, well, you know what happens when you chug 18% beers. You either get your buzz on and get in the hammer lane real quick or you're in the bathroom throwing it back up. So hopefully you're not doing that on an expensive beer like this, but... It is a little on the boozy side. It's hard to hard to say it's not, guys. Even though I've, we're into over 3,000 beer reviews, it does have a slight booziness to it. It's not bad. I mean, if you... They have got a lot of taste in this beer other than booze. I will give them that. Uh, it's just just be aware of what I just said I mean it's it is a monster beer guys be careful well I'm gonna sip on this because I'm at home and I don't have to worry about it I ain't driving anywhere and I'm gonna sip on it and I'll be right back and we'll do the final grade and chug on this one hey everybody got a little bit left here been sipping on it about 30 minutes uh, it is a tasty beer I will say even though it's an 18 percenter which will put you in the hammer lane faster. I got a slight buzz going on here. Uh, it is, for what it is, a fairly tasty beer. Uh, I did expect some booziness being an 18%, but uh, it's hidden as well as they can hide it for an 18%, guys. I mean, you can't hide an 18% beer like you can a 5, 6, or 7% the alcohol as far as but uh, and it is an enjoyable beer if you're at home drinking this uh, I would not recommend drinking this out in a bar or a brew pub unless you have a designated driver guys this is way too much one of these is enough to get you a DUI in the state of Virginia so just drink responsibly guys let's do the final chug and see what I think still getting the booziness on the nose here even though it's warmed up to room temperature you just can't hide that much alcohol, guys. You cannot hide 18% alcohol in a beer. Wow. Wow. I honestly think it's more boozy now that it's warmed up than it was cold out of the fridge. It's almost got that rubbing alcohol characteristics to it with the booziness and the alcohol. Uh, but uh, I, I am getting the rich roasted malt. I am getting the molasses. I'm getting the raisins. Not getting a whole lot of other dark fruit because of the alcohol, more than likely. Uh, if you want to get in the hammer lane, this will jump you over into the, the express lane. But I'm just not a fan of these monster beers like this. Uh, the exception of that is some of the bourbon barrel aged beers uh, can hide it a little bit better than this, depending on the brewery. Uh, I've had boozy beers uh, 
in the stout range and I've had not so boozy beers. There are a lot of breweries that produce these big monster beers and the alcohol is hidden enough, but still, even then, you know you're drinking something of that magnitude. You just can't not hide it. You can't hide 18% or bigger beers, uh, alcohol beers. It's just very hard to do in a beer. Now, if you're drinking liquor, uh, bourbon or, or something like that, I mean, you're going to expect that. You, you, you want that bite. Uh, you, you, you want that taste and, and that booziness. Uh, uh, but in a beer, once it gets above 15%, uh, I have had some Avery beers that were pretty impressive. And some of the other one, uh, Elysian, and, and some of the other uh, breweries that produce monster beers, that the alcohol is fairly well hidden, not completely. You're just not going to hide that much alcohol, guys. It's very, very hard to do. But uh, enjoyable beer, guys. It, it is. If you want to get there fast, this will do it. Uh, I do think it's an A beer, A minus for me. I'm going to give this a. Uh, I'm going to give it a 92. Where I'm going to put this. Uh, it does have the uh, the date stamp on here, and you can read it. It's a very faint yellow writing, and Rico actually put a green sticker on it, pointing down to where it was at. This is a 2014 edition. Uh, this is 2018, so it's been in the bottle four years, and I don't know if the alcohol has subsided any. It's still very prevalent to me, so probably not something I would buy and and spend. 10 11 12 dollars on one bottle uh, I'm just not just not a fan of that much booze I like it somewhere between the, the 7 and 15 percent and it's just me guys there's a lot of people that probably think this is the best thing since sliced bread blows their hair back their socks off makes them give gives them a woody or whatever uh, just this is not me though guys I, I'm not looking to drink a beer to get shit faced on one beer uh, but this will do it. If you're not used to drinking this magnitude of a beer, <laughs> it'll get you there. Uh, and that's where I'm going to leave this, guys. Uh, I did enjoy it. Rico, thanks again, my brother. I just find it kind of boozy uh, and probably a little too much alcohol for what I am looking for in a beer. I'm not looking to get drunk or, or, or anything like that after drinking one beer. So, with that being said, this is the Dogfish Head. Raisin the Extra, the 2014 edition at 18%. Uh, Vice beer, but probably not something I would purchase. So if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.